Hello and welcome. My name is Fake Fairy Tale, and this is the eighth video in the Let's Build a Dungeon series. Now, last video we left off with placing down some of the bars, and we monkeyed around with the pillars over there. And I decided that the first thing I want to do is just get the general layout for each individual room going. So we're not going to go into too much detail over here. We'll just add in the most important pieces of furniture. Um, all according to the, the work order that I also explained in my first Let's Build a House series. And we're going to do that room by room. Now I'm recording multiple videos at the same time here. And releasing them one by one. So potentially you guys have some suggestions already or i've made some suggestions uh, that i'm not yet adding in this video um, but if that's the case uh, be uh, or rest assured i will get to all the suggestions um if i like them of course and if it's something that we can work with and then we'll just make changes on that at a later stage so nevertheless uh, let's continue here the first thing that I want to do is I think I'm going to add in an altar over here. I think we want to stay away from the hole in the center. And perhaps we can place down a table or or maybe actually the longer I think about it, um, the more I am actually tempted to... One problem that I have with it is that it's too perfectly square right now. And I don't like that. So the idea is that you can, can just place like multiple rows of glyphs everywhere like so. And that creates the sense if you have shadow pathing on top of it that it gradually or steeply um, goes into the depths and it works quite well but i think that if we want to do this we should not apply this um, square shape so let's see if we can yeah, remove all of that It's not, this is a little bit too much. Yeah. Voila. This is a new functionality in Dungeon Draft, but it seems that it's still not working properly. So we'll undo it. And I'm going to think about this a little more, but maybe maybe this just doesn't work and we might be better off uh, better off just making it some sort of altar all the way here up top um, yes i think so i think that's something we're gonna do i i have these um i often just try things out uh, and see if they work because you can always just undo everything and, and fix it back up again and i think it's very hard to uh, really know how something is gonna look if you haven't just put it on the map and like this better so we just try things out and we'll just see how that looks and if it doesn't work well that's perfectly fine of course and we'll just go for something else so we have an altar over there 
Um, we want to have some sort of flow through if we want to make these traps. Um, then we should. Oh, you could actually maybe just make it two statues, make the entrance a bit smaller, have the statues. That, that would make sense. Uh, let's make statues. We'll place them on layer 700 oh, because we want them to be above the walls. And we're going to add in a dungeon wall behind them. That's perfectly fine. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Now we're going to have to fix that up a little bit, but that's something I'll do in between videos. Because I think this makes more sense than having it be two grid squares deep. And we're going to have these statues do something funny later, I think. It could be a nice trap. Uh, they could either be brought to life when you touch the altar or have them shoot some kind of projectiles, poison darts perhaps. There's plenty of things that we can do here. Um, meaning that now in the center we want some benches. And I think one of the things that I miss a little bit is a stone bench like these. If you have these in stone, that would be great. That could help out. Right now we have to do it with this, but you have those weird things at the edge, at the backside. Um, because there's supposed to be a wall bench. Yeah, wall benches. But it might also be nice to use... Oh, I think we could do that. These wooden ones. Because that way we can break up the texture somewhat. Otherwise we'd be covering the entire place with stone. And that's nice and all, but I think some variation can go a long way. I did notice that I placed them down at layer 700, so that's not, we don't want that. We can add in some sort of carpet in the center, perhaps some table up top over here. Um, and something to sacrifice things on, I like a brazier, you could use this for that, that works, that works well. And that could be on a platform. Now I get the wooden ones, but I want it to be stone, like we did in the other dungeon map that I made recently. If you haven't seen that one, I made a, um, a map in 120 minutes. Might be interesting to check out. Um, I did a few challenge runs for myself to put myself on time constraints and see how I would perform, uh, perform under pressure, and it was a lot of fun. So I'll be sure to add in a card in this video uh, that will bring you to that one as well. I think that's what we want to do. Um, let's see. I think we're going to add in a table already. Some statues. And we want to use the hooded figure for that. Give it some kind of occultist vibe. We have like these large statues looming over you while you sit there and then we can still do something over here i think and maybe add a additional row all right that's good over to this side then we wanted to add in some tables here as well and I was thinking about making this a guard room. This could work as some kind of laboratory. These are actually assets made by White Box Works. Um, he has a whole set of alchemy materials. And I haven't used them yet, actually. So I think that could be fun to play around with. They do have a bit of a brighter art style, which is fine. We might have to turn it down with some shadows. Make sure that it looks grungy and dark. Uh, and have some shattered glass laying around. We add in a corner table over here, something square. That would make a lot of sense. And maybe an additional table 
Okay, well, let's use something that looks sufficiently old, like this. We used to have some space to walk around and some old uh, bookcases could be here with some books laying on the ground. That 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 would be nice. Though would that make sense? I don't think so. Um, not if it was a guard room of sorts. I'll add in some shelves here. Chests. Maybe it's better to do it like so. To break up the style of room a little bit and we'll add in two chests i want something that looks kind of sturdy and we'll use two different uh, chests make sure that it's not too much of the same thing over here to give us an idea of what this is going to be all right um let's see this is probably going to remain a central hallway. I think I might lay down a very dirty and old carpet here. Um, or a rug, actually. Nah, I'm going to leave that out. And we have... I wanted to have some sort of larger contraption over here. Levers. Mm, that's not what we want. There was the larger. But then some chandeliers here as well. There were the larger. How do you call them? What's we called it? All right. Give me one second while I look for it. It's these chain winches. Let's see what we find if we just say winch. Um, that was the one that I was looking for because I would like to have something. It's for a well that looks sturdy enough to draw up. Uh, erase the portcullis though I don't like the color of the wood that we have here so maybe we can just slap something together using this over here and we are going to need some change then or not oh, just here and on that side and then we need some wooden contraption to place it on, I think. But that's something that we'll leave for later. Um, let's see, I want some path chains. Those chains will be going up. That's some chain. I think they can be quite thick. And we want that to be over here. Yeah, that works. So that you could have the port colors raised. I will probably be monkeying around with it and making sure that it looks pretty, but this is just to have the general idea going. And I already see I've been going on for uh, what is it, about 25 minutes. So I'm going to call it quits here. And I will start off the next video fixing up these areas um, on time lapse. And we'll be adding in some more sections uh, with furniture. Uh, and we'll just work from there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like, favorite, and subscribe button. And I hope to see you again in the next video.